so what are higher order functions and lambda expressions right so higher order functions are those functions that contain another function in them so in higher order functions what we do is we pass another function as an argument or return a function as a result for example if you look at this uh, sub reverse is a function that we created and we are passing this function to another function which is add zero this is also another function that we are created right so this is what your higher order function is very simple one function into another function right so we'll we'll see an example as well to better understand so here i have a class uh, some functions which is created i have two functions here or methods so if you see here sub reverse is a function which takes an argument string and then what it does is it basically substring we are using a substring for first three characters and then we are doing a reverse so you pass a string that that string first three characters is observed and then you are reversing those three characters right now add zero is another function it takes a string and we just concatenate it with zero 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 whatever strength we have we just concatenate it with zero 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 okay now coming to our main method so we are initializing this class here and then what we are doing here you can see here the first thing that we are doing is uh, we are doing a reverse of robin okay so let me do one more thing so i'll do a simple println here and uh, this is what we are passing right so okay so just to see how the data is right so first we want to understand how the uh, sub reverse function is working and then this data the output of it is added to another function which is add zero which basically adds three zero zeros right yeah three zeros so let me just uh, go ahead and run this and and then we will talk about the lambda function as well okay so let me go ahead and execute this all right so this is the data uh, for the first two first two functions right uh, where is this okay this is the one so first is sub reverse of robin so now what the reverse is basically what it does is uh, here you can see right it takes the first three characters right so first three characters is this one rob and then it reverses reverse of rob is bor so that is what you see here and then that data you're feeding to another function where it says add zero it is adding three zeros so bor and then three zero so that is what your higher order function is so one function is an input to another function simple concept right now lambda function are shorthand notation so you don't create a function you sir you just create the logic here so for example uh, x star s right so what i am doing here is i am taking the square of the numbers right now instead of creating a function like this i can create a function like this and say hey x star x i accept input and then uh, i'll do x into x right instead of creating the function i am basically defining this logic here using this one this is a rocket symbol so after this this is a logic that you have defined so this is your lambda so anonymous function so and then i'm just printing the data right so here i'm passing the value of 4 and what it does is 4 into 4 is 16 so this is the output that you get and this is another example of lambda function where you are basically for trying to find the maximum value you have the if logic present and uh, you're trying to find which among this is a maximum which is 41 5 12 and the output is 41 because that's the maximum value. so this is what your lambda functions are. so lambda functions basically are used when you want to just create a very small logic like this is a very small logic that you want to create right you don't have to define a function for that so for the small logics where you know the number of lines of code is very minimum just a one liner that is where you use a lambda function okay so that's your lambda function and then we have seen your higher order functions i hope this was helpful and i'll see you guys again in my next class